Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So unfortunately, I did have audio issues here. It did not come out very well, so I'm just gonna scratch the audio of this clip. Today's video is part two, technically, of a session I did a few weeks back. It's my girl, Christina. She works at Cosmoprof. I used her for two videos. We did one session and I split it down to two. So we did two different videos. The first one, I did a video showing you guys how I specifically do my hairline, my money piece area. I'll put that video down below or on the card. If I ever forget to put the videos I want you guys to look at in the description box, always check the card because they're always going to be there no matter what. So today's tutorial is going to be the rest of that session with her hair the day we did the money piece video. A couple of months ago, I'll put this on the card as well, we did do a regular stitched low light and showed you guys how to add dimension for a more piecier look with low lights with a regular stitched low light. So today, it's been a couple of months. She's like, ah, I'm over it. It was great while it lasted. Let's take me back to my signature blonde and that's what we shall do. So this day, I'm going to show you how I take and kick through all this demi-permanent color when your blondes want to go dark for the winter, fall, whenever. Listen to this advice and listen carefully. Always use a demi-permanent color. A lot of people give demi-permanent color a bad name, especially clients who are uneducated or a stylist who are not educated thoroughly. Demi-permanent color does not mean it doesn't last. And permanent color doesn't mean it doesn't go away. Demi-permanent and permanent color are just the same. The only difference is permanent color actually enters into the cuticle, which makes it take over your natural hair, and you'll never be able to go back to its original state. That's why the name permanent comes into play. So once I use a permanent color on somebody, it's going to go in, it's going to fill in that cuticle, and it's going to wipe clean their old original hair color and when they want to get it out they're going to have to use a color remover or a lightener aka bleach and no matter what it will never go back to maintain that original color that grew out of their head now the difference between a permanent and a demi-permanent scientifically is a permanent color is alkaline on the ph scale and a demi-permanent is acidic. Permanent color is gonna open that cuticle so it's alkaline and it's gonna go into that cuticle and that's why it's so hard to get out. Demi-permanent is always my go-to and my choice because it's always just a lower, it's acidic on the pH and it adds shine and smoothness because it's gonna try to close that cuticle as much as possible. And when you wanna get out of it, it's so easy because it only stains the outside of the cuticle. So there's only two times you guys will ever see me use a permanent color, and that is if the client has gray hair that needs to be covered or it's required and requested by the client. Um, I always, you know, scientifically break it down as a colorist, tell them the pros, the cons, and if they still feel they want that permanent color, I will do it. And I also will tell them how hard it is to get out and how much money it will be required to get it out. But gray coverage, you have to use a permanent color and it has to be an N, which is a neutral, and it will be able to go in there and get that old gray pigment out and cover it very thoroughly. Even though I don't like permanent color, when somebody has gray coverage and it needs to be covered, you'll notice it always comes out easier than somebody who's not gray and uses a permanent color because gray doesn't really hold pigment that well. So even if they're using a permanent color and they wanna go lighter in the future, it usually kicks out very easily. I know I'm just shooting all kinds of information at you guys and you're starting to get confused. That's okay, it takes a while to understand. But if you want me to break it down and do a video actually scientifically going over everything um, in depth, let me know down below in the comments and I'll do that ASAP because it's very important to know these things if you want to be considered a color specialist in general or a blonde specialist or any kind of color specialist at all. So today she wants to try to go back to blonde as quickly and as easy as possible and it's going to happen because I use Demi Permanent which was Shade ZQ. I always like to go for the 10 volume when somebody wants a low light or all over color when I'm using shades because we all know shades is very translucent. That's why it's great for root shadowing and toning and that glossy look. But when I want it to stay a little bit better, I'll use a 10 volume and a lot of people get scared like, oh my God, is that gonna make it harder to get out? You'll see today because I use 10 volume in the shades on her 
and it comes out so amazing, so easily, no stress, and she does almost achieve what her goal was in one session. Now also another tip for me to you guys is if somebody wants to go a lot blonder or a lot of a color and have a lot more of that, use a bigger stitch. You see, I'm still doing a smaller amount of hair in my foil, but I'm not doing my traditional baby light stitch, which always looks like slices and really, really close together. I'm doing a regular traditional highlight stitch. This is the biggest stitch I'll do because chunky is not my style, but it's good to do this and pack them in close together like that. Still minimal subsections if your client wants a lot of coverage. So today we are using Blonde Me Schwarzkopf Lightener. I love this lightener. It was my start of my career's go-to for like more than half of my career. I love it so much. It's very strong, but yet gentle. And it's cool because it has a bond agent built in. So it's kind of like it's a lightener with Olaplex built into it. So when I use that in my 16th ounce of Olaplex, which I am using in every bowl, this is like double the protection, and I love Schwarzkopf because it's very strong, but yet gentle. I've never had any serious issues with it at all. The only thing I don't like about it, and the reason I don't use it on a daily basis anymore, and I use OxyCure now, is because the Schwarzkopf Lamy does swell if a person has a lot of thick hair, or if there's a lot of hair in each foil. It will swell, and it will go all the way down the back. I've had such a bad experience about three times with it, and that was enough for me to figure out what hair types it's best for and what hair types it's not. So every now and then I'll miss it and I'll grab a tube or two and that's what I did. I just wrapped up foiling and I literally just checked one of the foils I started with. That's almost white, you guys. This is why I love Blonde Me and this is why I love using Demi Permanent Color. So after all this, I let her process for about 45 minutes and then I headed over to the sink and I started to tone her. And we never tone her or root her. She usually likes it raw, no toner on the root, no toner anywhere. But today I asked her and begged her to let me tone her with 10P, 10VG, which is a new shades color, which I'm obsessed with, and a little splash of 9V, just because this is a color correction. And there was um, a little bit of yellow left after we lifted through everything. And just to play it safe, I wanted to just glaze her real quickly for a minute or two with Shades EQ. Wyatt, say hello to my YouTube channel. The what? Say hello to the YouTube channel. Hello. In the shower. In the shower. Go to your local Say hi to Wyatt in the shower, guys. <laughs> Grabby dub dub dub. Wyatt's in the tub. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm quickly just glazing her with 10 VG, 10 P, and 9 V. And it's just because she usually doesn't tone or root tone at all. She likes it very raw. But because this was a color correction, because she had old demi permanent color, it never will lift perfectly. I'm just gonna glaze her for a minute. You can already see how it's toning out that yellow. See, beautiful. And we're not gonna do any rooting on her or anything. And it, we're just gonna blow dry after we condition. I'll put Olaplex on for a minute and then she'll be good to go and we'll just dust her ends. 
George, best blood specialist in the tri-state area. Aww, thank you. <laughs> You guys can tell when you're a hustler and a go-getter because I know what time the lights go out inside my building from being so late. It's 11 p.m. And right now, what time is it, babe? 12.30. It's 12.30 and we just finished her hair, a last minute decision. What do you guys think? It feels like silk. We overlapped and we got rid of all that old Shades EQ low light where we took her darker. Very minimal damage. It actually feels better now than it did when she came in. I know that sounds hard to believe, but I swear to you, I'm not lying. And she doesn't ever tone or do a root toner. And I have to really rely on good foil work. And look at this, you guys. She likes that more dimensional PC look, like just like this. And we didn't even do a low light. We just used the dropout hair as the subsection. Look at that. That's exactly how she likes it. No root toner and I did tone her though because this is all old color and you can see well you can't really see because it, it looks so even but I was worried about it having a little bit too much yellow because she's a natural level 7 it always pulls a perfect level 10 right here and from here down was all like the old color but for the most part everything is even dimensional and beautiful and I toned her with the new Shades EQ 10 BG 9P 9D and I will give you my review in another video because I did a video of just that toner. So if you haven't seen that review video yet, then you will be seeing it soon. So, all right, guys, we are done. She's flat ironed. She has her silken and gloss by Kenra in her hair, her taffy, and we are ready to leave. I don't really think we want to even put the ring light on because it looks beautiful and it's one o'clock in the morning <laughs> and we both were off today. So I don't know how this ended up happening so late, but that's because we're crazy. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, I love you all so much and as always, always, this is so long for now.